Hey guys, this is Eve with Scrapbooking with Me, and we're going to do another card. Now, this is going to be a little bit of an unusual card, but I think you'll like it. I am going to use just an old stamp set that I had, and I'm going to use some Angel Pink ink, just kind of some tone-on-tone -tone stamping, and I'm going to stamp up just a little bit on my... This is my card base, so I'm just going to do a little bit of tone-on-tone -tone stamping. Just a faint stamp on there. I don't want anything bold. There we go. I like that. And then we're going to put a little bit at the bottom. This ink is almost dried up so it makes perfect for tone on tone stamping there we go i think that is cute it's just a little bird in a branch i don't know if you can see it very well or not but it's cute like that and i may go back and just put a few little branches in there just to kind of fill it in. That. And then let's do the same thing up here. There we go. I think I want it a little bit right here. Coming in from the side. So if you have some solid paper that you want to dress up a little bit, just go in and grab your stamps and use your stamps to do that. Just use a color of ink that is close to what you your paper is and you've got it made. Okay, so this piece is cut at four and a quarter by 11. And we're going to score at two and three quarters. Let me look at my measurements. Two and three quarters. And at five and a half. So that is our scoring on that piece. Now we're going to have grab you another piece of a different colored cardstock. And it is three inches wide by eight and three quarter. And you're going to score this one at three inches and at five and three quarter. Okay, so that's your scoring. And I will put these measurements up on my blog. Right now, you're just gonna fold this one back, and then this one you're gonna fold forward, just like that. Okay, so that's the way that's gonna look, a little Z fold. And then you're going to fold that one back and then that one up, just like that. So you've got that. What this card's going to do is this is a different type of a Z fold card. It's going to sit just like that and then that's going to sit there. So that's how it's going to look. It's going to be a double Z fold, only going this way. But first we're going to put some mats on this. Now I'm using our paper pack collection from our March kit. So this piece, I'll tell you what size this piece is. This mat piece is cut at two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And you're just gonna mat that part right there. And then you're gonna need another one for the center piece. And this one is cut at two and a half by two and three quarters. That's going to go right there, and I'm just flipping that sheet over and putting that one there. You can double mat these. You can mat it all in white and stamp on it if you want. It doesn't matter. You can make this card a lot of different ways. Oops. Okay. Let's see. I think I slid that a little bit. All right, and then I have just a white piece of cardstock that we're going to put down here at the bottom. But first, I'm going to stamp on it, and I'm going to use a stamp that I have had for a while. Now, you can use the Meme stamps that come in our March kit if you want to. 
This one is a sweet and sassy, and it, what I'm stamping says, Faith makes the impossible possible. So that's what I'm going to stamp on this. I'm going to use some Versafine ink. I'm going to ink that up, and hopefully, I'm going to have to pull this top one off so I can see. I'm going to stamp it. Hopefully my head's not shot because I'm having a bad hair day. Right in the center. Just like that. Well, that's close to the center. And then we're going to come back in with this little stamp. I think I'll grab another block since that one's got ink on it. And what we're going to do is just kind of go around this with just the branches, not necessarily the bird, but just the branches. Got a little bit of the bird there, but that's okay. this down right here. Now we're going to put this on here, and what I want to do is I'm going to lay my card, I'm going to fold my card up and lay this top like that right there, kind of center it up from one side to the other, And then make sure that it's about centered there. And you can go ahead and measure if you want. That's an inch all the way across, looks like. And then I'm just going to hold it and lift it up and put some glue under it. That way I don't have to worry about doing a lot of measuring. I've got it down. Now what you want to do for this bottom part is, again, you want to close that up because you want your card to close in the end. So close that up, lift the bottom part up, and put some glue under there. That makes it easy to put this card together. If you try measuring it and holding it and all that, you won't ever get it. But see, it comes together just perfectly. Now I'm going to go ahead and shoot some more glue under there just to make sure that that holds really well. So there is that part of the card, and now we want to use a few of our little flowers and things that we had left. I'm going to take a piece of that washi that was in our March kit, and right here in the back, and this is an afterthought, so you can put yours down before, but right in the back, right up near that fold, I'm going to put that washi down there. See, that's where we put it, back there. I'm just going to trim these ends off. Okay. That stresses that back there up a little bit. And then we're going to put some flowers around. I'm going to put a couple of flowers here, and then a big one down here, 
and maybe a little butterfly. All of these were in the March kit as well. These are these flowers were uh, like a canvas. They were made out of a kind of a canvas paper, not really a just a paper paper, but a canvas. It makes them really strong. So let's tuck him right there. Put the little butterfly over there. So that's five. That's five good pieces. I'm going to take this little card that's also out of the paper collection and I'm going to, I popped it up on Pop Dots and I'm going to put it right there. Just like that. And there is your card. A little Z fold card. And it will go in a regular size envelope. Alright guys, that is the card for now. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click that little bell when that bell pops up so that you'll be notified when we put up a new video. And we will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.